Willingness to accept roles. Are you willing to accept your role in a basketball team? Guess what? I mean, I, I am now. You, you are? You are? I, I guess. You, would you believe that the coach might have an opinion, rightly or wrongly, of you as a basketball player, especially as a junior, of certain things that they would like you to do and maybe certain things they don't think you do so well? And sometimes people and coaches ultimately don't think you do those things so well, perhaps, because they haven't observed you doing those things so well. So here's a good one, okay? Uh, if you're not the best free throw shooter, here's a simple example, yeah? Coach is probably not going to put you at the free throw line when there's a technical foul, yeah? Okay, so if there's a tech foul and he's got to select someone to shoot the free throw shooter, he's going to try and choose the best free throw shooter. So if you think you are deserving of going up there at the free throw line to shoot those freebies, okay? You can go away at training, okay, and uh, work on your free throws and show it to your coach, okay, that you can knock down those three, uh, sorry, free throws, okay, so then it will then obviously give him an opportunity to perhaps select you to make those free throws. And that's just a real simple example because there's uh, many different roles in the game of basketball, including rebounding, screening, uh, getting that bucket, shooting that three, okay. Coach ain't going to draw you up a play to shoot a three if he has never seen you make a three, okay? So if you are going to want that play drawn up for you, you will need to demonstrate that during training, okay, through your hard work and through the efforts that you put in there, okay? And then obviously then you'll give yourself that chance to be able to provide that role, okay? And there's 100 roles that happen in the game. And are you willing to play the roles that you are asked to throughout a game? And that's a huge area of, uh, being a professional basketball player, because if we all think about it, not everyone is a superstar in the league, but you know, there's plenty of role players in the league that have highly successful careers too. Well, there's there's one thing that popped into my head instantly when we we're talking about junior basketball, and that's the if you're the parent of or you are the person, uh, the child who had a growth spurt and suddenly is six foot or seven foot, and everyone else in the court is five foot, you're going to be playing center or power forward. Sorry. Um, you might be able to dribble and shoot, et cetera, but you naturally or your body has kind of put you in a position that you have to view as an opportunity, right? So maybe you did shoot a lot of threes when you were junior and then you had the growth spurt and now you're taller than everyone. Well, let's practice some lower post off, all right? Let's use the the strength. Let's see how easy the game of basketball can be when you do have that size advantage. And, um, you know, yes, that can make you complacent, but if you have the right mindset, you'll get through it. I think another one as well, you know, playing time would probably come up in this conversation. Let's say you made it onto a rep team or you made it onto a higher level team, but you're getting two to five to 10 minutes a game. And you're not getting a lot of time. You got two opportunities with this. You can A, say this is crap and the coach is out to get me or the coach has favorites and I don't care. Or B, you can look inward and say, I wonder why I'm not getting more court time if I am as good as I think I am. Because the reality is, all right, and I'm going to say this, nine out of 10 times, you're not good enough. There's probably one out of 10 where there's some weird thing going on where the coach has to play a certain kid because he's getting extra money on the side or there's some corruption or he's sleeping <laughs> with one of the parents. I don't know what you want to do. But ultimately, you're probably not good enough, right? That's really what it boils down to. It might be because of some physical limitations. If you're five foot and the rest of your team's six foot, maybe it's like, hey, look, as, as good as you are, we can't put you on the court in games like this. Maybe it's a close game and you just have a notorious history of always throwing the ball away or making bad decisions. Maybe you didn't show up for training two weeks in a row and the coach is kind of using this as an example for you. I'm not too sure what your specific circumstance is, but I guarantee you, if you were really good enough, they could not deny you the court time, all right? I think we look at certain players in the league. Uh, LeBron James, I'm just going to use this as an example. Uh, he just rocked up in a Drew League game. They weren't going to take LeBron James off the court pretty much ever. They understood what he was. They understood his skill level. And they were pretty much happy to do whatever it was with him, all right? And, you know, we all we all kind of wonder, how did he just rock up at the Drew League? Well, he took someone's spot, probably. Someone basically was like, I'm not going to play today because I'd rather watch LeBron James. And if you are that good, uh, you will not be sitting on the bench for 35 or the 40 minutes of the game. No, absolutely. I think uh, at the end of the day, minutes is a big one. Being able to understand and play that role, um, you know, and accept the minutes, and accept what's being asked. Uh, again, players, I've seen players leave teams because they say, this team's not very good. Well, those are perfect examples for you to get many more opportunities because guess what? When you're in a team that's really deep, 
and suddenly the complaint is, oh, well, everyone's really good. Now I'm not playing any minutes. <laughs> so I think, uh, you know, accepting the role, finding the opportunities in that challenge, okay, and making the most of it, that's a big part of being able to take your game to the next level.